Hello, so I am shooting this video because this is actually for one book July. One book, one pen, one month. Now, currently, I pretty much use all of these. This is my writer's Bible. This is my family journal. This is my catch-all for pictures, ephemera, um, research material for my novel which has to do with this writer's Bible. Okay, this is my Hobonichi. I have the AVAC series. This is um, the first part, so it ends in June, and here's July's section. This is my weight loss, get fit journal. Okay, this is my Fobonichi. Okay. It is a 7C standard. This is my Butea Bunker, which I actually use for personal stuff, for to-do lists, for bullet journaling, that kind of thing. Um, and this is my A5 Domino File Effects, which is for household stuff. And then, of course, there's my travel bag, or my keep everything in there bag, but it's not really all in there. So I'm going to stop this and then we're going to put this on the tripod and then I'm going to start filming and I'm actually going to talk about what I'm going to do with this little book. Okay? Hello, it's Burgess Taylor. Now I did, I showed all of the current journals and stuff like that that I use. Our journal, journaling, that kind of thing. Planners. Um, I don't use my Hobonichi as a planner. I don't use my writing Bible as a planner or really an art journal. I do doodle in it. I do post pictures, things like that. Um, but my art journaling has taken a turn over the past six months. Um, I really, really got into it in February when I had, after I had my surgery, um, because I couldn't sit at the computer and write. I couldn't really sit in bed or on the couch or in the recliner with the laptop and write. I could hand write with notebook, paper, pen, that kind of thing. So I did a lot of art journaling and I did some writing by hand, which really got me back in touch with some of the writing um, stuff that I had missed out on, I think, working with the computer so much. but. Art journaling became a bit of um, an addiction in a way. It was a good addiction though. So what, what I found out was there isn't like, um, I guess there is probably out there some perfect notebook for each individual person, but I don't think there's a perfect notebook for like, you know, I mean, it's about you individually. It's about what your needs are, what kind of paper you prefer, whether you prefer bound or spiral, whether you actually art journal or just write. I think it also depends on whether you like acrylic or watercolor or a combination of the two, if you like mixed media. If you just more or less do smash booking or junk journaling or whatever, there's a whole lot of different things that are out there and I think it's really important that you find what works for you. Now, art journaling for me has become more of a I want to art journal slash journal slash smash book junk journal, sort of like a project life slash art journaling slash smash book slash all of the above in one place. I think I am going to start using um, the trifold A5 Janelli fish that I am waiting on. It's my birthday present to me, and my birthday is in July, and this is one month, one book, one month, one pen July. So, one book July 2015. But since I don't have it, and I can't put inserts into it, because I have the AVEX series Hobonichi, which will go in there. And my 7C standard 
which is an A5, will also go in there. And then I want one other notebook to go in there. Or I may just get another standard, um, another 7C standard and use it. Um, and combine, combine the 7C's with the Hobonichi um, and have just the two and use the seven C's as my Fobonichi slash sort of a almost a project life or um, that kind of thing. I was watching videos by Susie Blue with the Paint and Chronicles and I love how she does her journaling. Um, I um, also watched some videos um, this one woman does, and I can't remember her name, um, but it was recent. She does a book a month, like, and she paints on her outside. She's, I think she's selling some of those now on Etsy. But, um, and she does just one book each month, kind of like an insert for Traveler's Notebook. And she does one for each month. And they're really pretty. And I like how she kind of does that. She combines planning with journaling and art journaling. And I am pretty sure I would like one book to sort of encompass all of that. The pictures that I take. Poems that I write. Little short poems anyway. Um, drawing. All of that. And I think I would like for that book to encompass all of that. And then do my personal, like, little bit of art journaling, very small journaling, um, and my Hobonichi with, and then, because that's just for me. The Hobonichi is just for me because it's one day, it's a page per day, and you don't get, like, a two-page layout. But I found these little books, thanks to Miss Beaky B, and Romani is... Oh, Romney's Realm is doing um, the One Book July with this little book and I thought I got one of these books as a relationship love letter kind of journal for my husband and I had started putting in I wanted to figure it out if I could do like a setup in it if it would be big enough or the paper would be nice enough to kind of do One Book July and I took some pictures of it and I think it will be. Um, so that's in that journal for my husband and he won't care. Um, but I have this book and now I just need to print off a calendar and put it, set it up in here for July. Because this is, I wasn't sure I would get it in time, but I did. So this is the new book. The other one is for my husband. And I have it right here as you can see it's got stuff in it I have kind of set it up to see if I could do that and um, I can and I actually like how compact it is I'm gonna try it I can't order any 7c standard notebooks they're all out of them right now and the NAMI paper is out of them unfortunately until like September so I'm going to continue using the one that I have for my Fobonichi and um, stuff like that. And I'm going to try this out. And my goal is so that by the end of this year, I will have my trifold for my art journals and journals in general um, set up for the end of this year. So that when the new year, uh, everything's set up by the end of this year. So that when the new year comes in, I have one traveler's notebook for my art and journaling and um, like smash books slash smoosh journaling and that kind of thing and then have my writer's bible set up with better inserts um, more organized for my actual writing like of novels and things like that and um, I am probably going to um, gift my Buteo bunker I'm going to put some new inserts in it and I'm probably going to gift it um, I may end up gifting it to my daughter or I may end up gifting it somewhere else because I don't need all of these and um, it's just becoming actually a little bit of a chore trying to keep up with everything. I have a fitness journal and I have a 
family journal and the family journals for a completely separate thing so it's not even going to be part of one book july but um because that is for my grandson and i'm actually going to start putting like little newspaper article clippings in it pictures in it that kind of thing um but we'll see but i think the premise behind let me go back a little one book july i don't is for you to simplify whatever system you have especially if you have multiple systems like if you are a planner addict or a journal addict which you know um, I don't really use my domino except for financial stuff for home and bills that kind of thing so I think my goal is to um, redo how I have that set up I may end up getting inkwell press inserts for that file of facts because I actually like how that's set up so that I can do goals for the house for the finances that kind of thing keep maintenance repair on the car on the house have that and that and have it more organized because I'm not a big fan of the file of facts inserts um, the do-it-yourself the like the follow fish or fishy whatever they are I'm not I looked at those and um, I looked at some of the other things and so far um, I do like color but I don't really want to actually decorate my planner so I'm going to try things a little bit differently um, I'm not going to use the file facts at all this month um, I'm going to strictly use the one book July and I'm going to use this new one um, I will probably, the only other books that I will use other than the, my little black book for One Book July will be my Hobonichi because that, like I said, is me, it's, it's very personal. Um, now I have switched it around and I will be using the little relationship journal. Um, I will probably post quotes like I have here and um, maybe do a few little pictures do um, you know like I think you know stuff like this um, nothing major a little tiny bit of collage I probably won't do but maybe like one page or two pages because it's there the book is small um, a day and that for him maybe not even every day for him because some days you know are busier than others and some days um, because Camp NaNoWriMo also starts July 1st I will be really busy writing so I have my writer's Bible and I probably won't be writing a whole lot other than just little notes to the side because I will actually be using the computer um, if I will stick stuff in that journal that's the sketchbook for that novel and I will probably write a little here and there in the actual insert that I have for that novel but um, my goal is that like I said by the end of this year I have everything more organized so that I have it broken down into my writer's bible by Janelle Fish by Janelle and then my art journal um, traveler's notebook my, my Janelle Fish for my art journals and then I'll have the little black book for my husband and the family journal for my grandson and um, I will have my file facts organized and set up the way that I really want to set it up for home stuff so I won't need a fitness journal anymore I won't need um, all that other stuff I'm probably not even going to really use the sketchbook except for the paper anymore because I want to redo my writer's bible and that's what this goal this month is more about is getting back into the writing and the blogging getting back into having things a little bit more simplified and what will work for me and um, I hope you try one book July I am using the preppy fountain pen it has waterproof ink in it I am using my watercolor travel kit it's a koi watercolor travel kit I will be using my white Signo pen 
that's because it's not really for writing it's for like you know for the white to show up and um, probably my aqua brush I'm gonna keep it simple um, and try not to like overcomplicate things or overthink things which is one of the reasons why I was so glad that Miss Vicki B and Romney's Realm suggested the little black book because I will um, it's so thick and so chunky and I like chunky I write kind of big um, and even though it's a small notebook I can glue stuff in there I can tip in I can do all kinds of things I, the paper's actually decent enough to watercolor on yes it has some bleed through but it's not a big deal I can handle it for one month and when I'm done I will probably keep the journal um, for reference or after it's this one for my husband is finished um what i wanted to say before my camera cut off was that i will take this book the little black chunky book um when i'm done with july and i will just save it and use it when i'm finished with the little black book that i have made for my husband and this will um be book number two for him um he won't mind and it'll be different than the little notes and stickers and the little tiny bits and pieces that I put in the journal that I'm making for him um, that is what I consider to be the relationship journal now one of the reasons I'm doing this is that I, although yes I do have the Hobonichi AVAC and I will be using it up the second part of it for this year but once this year is over, I don't think I'll be getting another Hobonichi. Unless they come out with the A5 size in English, I really don't think so. I love the paper. I like the concept. But I don't like one-page spreads. Um, I would rather have three or four of the um, Nanami Paper 7C standard books and their um, 7C's writer books the writer ones to go in my writer's bible and the standard one which is not lined to go in my art journal um, I would rather have that and have a few of those in each one of the Janelli fishes and do the uh, like journal your life um, kind of thing in the totality of it in the standard with that same paper as the Hobonichi um, and use it for like the Fobonichi journalers prompts and um, like my kind of sort of junk journaling, smoosh journaling, smash booking, that kind of thing and my regular writing um, journaling will probably be um, in maybe the Seven Seas Writer, one of the writer books or in that same kind of journal your life I'll just kind of clamp those pages together because they're personal and private and won't be I won't take pictures of those or you use those in flip throughs um, I'm not quite sure of how I'm going to do that um, I'm sure that I'll figure out a way but that's my goal that's one of the reasons I chose to participate in one book July um, I also chose to participate in one book July because I think um, based on from what I've gathered if I can compile all of this into primarily one book um, I think when I can get the inkwell press inserts for my domino um, I won't be worried about trying to make it pretty because it's colored and it's pretty and it's set up in such a way that I think works for me um, I don't like like the making my planner kind of pretty thing I started that I tried it I love stickers and stuff you know I'd rather do that all of that in my art journal um, I even thought about taking one of the inkwell press planners I may try that for the rest of this year I'm not sure after July is over I may end up trying to work out some kind of system where I use a like an inkwell press planner as a journal your life kind of thing um, my goal is like I said to use this month to figure out what may or may not work for me 
so that all all I have at the end of maybe this year is something that works for me like say like the Fobonichi and something that works for me like journaling my life and then my writer's Bible and the planning I want to organize it so that I am I've simplified things um, I can manage the journals um, I love journals I have a lot of them and I've always kept more than one maybe it's because of the ADHD maybe it's because I become a little bored but I thought if I change things up some it might help with that um, I'm ready to go on to the next journal um, I tend to get bored sometimes before the journal is finished but I have found that that's not the case really with the standard with the seven C standard because I think I can do so much with that paper um, and I have been watching several videos of people who do kind of journal their life and they go about it differently and they change things up some and you know so like I said this is my goal this month is to you know cut things back some simplify things and so that I can figure out before the end of this year what will work for me and find that system and get it ready for the beginning of next year. So I'm really excited about One Book July and um, I'm going to get the link guys if you're interested in it and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.